I think we're a little due on the oil change. In today's video, we're gonna be doing our 50 hour service on my 2022 Bad Boy Maverick. Welcome back to the channel everyone glad to have you back we're going to be doing another video on the servicing of my 2022 bad boy maverick um we're just a tad bit over the uh, 50 hour mark with me cutting so much i just haven't had time to get to it today is sunday this is usually my days off from cutting grass so we're going to go ahead and we're going to be servicing this mower and get it ready for next week as you can tell, almost right at 64 hours. So we're 14 hours over. So according to the owner's manual of this mower, as you can tell right there, intentional oil change was supposed to have been done at eight hours. Well, we exceeded that by a whole lot. So at our 50 hour mark, once you tighten nuts and screws and all that, and right there it says, change engine oil and filter so that's what we're going to do today so i went down to the place where i bought my mower from the dealership and picked up a oil filter for it i also picked up an oil filter for my hustler well, we're going to get the oil change in that one too um so let me show you what kind of oil that i purchased that i run in all my cars um you know just trying to keep it simple and and whatnot we don't have a mixture of different oils for different motors and whatnot so let me show you there's my two oil filters and what i chose to run is the full synthetic valvoline 1030 for uh the engine oil choice so that's what we're going to put in both of my mowers um never had a problem with valvoline uh, owner's manual never really, you know, gave you an idea of what oil brand to use. Um, this tells you the oil weights in different temperatures. And 1030 was like the main oil to be running in this engine. But that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead. Let's get that uh, drain plug on the mower and... Uh, get that open so that we can get that oil drain and we'll take the oil filter off and then we're going to be doing our greasing on the grease points on this mower too so just for some of y'all don't know i am running the Kohler uh confident motor on this mower i wanted the kawasaki just couldn't spring the other 500 dollars to get that engine so so far this engine's been doing pretty good not really no complaints about it it's extremely quiet compared to the Kawasaki, but I think it's just a tad bit under horsepower for a 60 inch. Um, I really like the Kawasaki, so I'm not gonna knock it. You know, luckily, no problems. So on the 2022 uh, bad boy you got this drain tube right here that's your oil drain so what we're going to do we're going to loosen that up let all that oil drain out and uh kind of go from there all righty so for what you're going to need if you have this you're going to need a 16 millimeter and a 11 16 wrench to uh get that i'm going to stick this right there Boy, I help drain. We'll just I 
actually the oil was still pretty pretty darn clean I guess I mean yeah maybe it wasn't so we'll let that drain then we'll get the uh, oil filter off of it alrighty so while the oil was changing or draining I went ahead and pulled the filter off there's the old filter uh, it's a yellow filter the one they gave me was black as you can tell there is a difference in size of it why it's like that I don't know but if I can find a different part number for a cross reference I will put it down right here in the bottom of the screen so uh I don't know that's what they gave me at the dealership looks awful small so they said it would work but I wouldn't head I got it all cleaned up um, it'll probably help if you jack up the left side that way the oil just don't run underneath the engine and back through there that way if you have it jacked up it would just run out this hole down into the pan so let's go ahead let's get the uh, new one screwed on also another thing when you put the new filter on run it down until it it seats to the engine and only do a half a turn more you don't have to give all your strength tighten that down on there it, no need for that so it'll help if you write your hours and the date that you change this that way it'll help you keep track of it um so that's what the hours on the motor is and the today's date on it all right so i got the cap back on the drain and uh let's go ahead and let's move up to the top boy hole There she goes, runs off. She gives me the finger. But what we're gonna do now is start the engine, let it run, let it roll through the oil filter and shut it off and recheck it, make sure it's on the full mark and we'll move on to the greasing. So if you have one of these engines right here and you do an oil change, it takes two quarts of oil I bought a five quart jug and I'm down to three quarts in the jug. So it takes two quarts of oil to refill this. Just in case anybody wanted to know how many quarts. So we got a grease fitting right there. There's one back here in the back uh, on the shaft, probably right where that bolt is that goes down. There's a grease fitting on there. You look underneath the deck here, you got a grease fitting right there. One on the other side. And uh, I'll have to look and see if there's any more on the mower. You know, we got uh, two up front right here on this bushing. So that is total of five grease fittings. Um, I'll let you know if I find any more grease fittings and where they're at. So, like I said, there's just five here so far. All right, so I took the uh, 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 bad boy. I washed it off, pressure washed it. Um, got it kind of cleaned up. I like to have my equipment looking somewhat decent when I pull up the customer's house. You know, it, it gives them a little bit of relief knowing that you got somebody there that you're paying to cut grass the equipment looks good it looks new you know they're going to do a good job so that's why i try to keep my mowers up to par as best i can you know they are a, a machine they are used for work so they do scratch up and whatnot and get dirty but i try to keep up on them make them look good so now i got to service my hustler mower 
I'm not going to video this one because it's basically the same thing without the greasing. Um, and get the oil changed and get it put back on the trailer. I don't have much longer um, with this one. Uh, I got to service the hydros in it. I did it at 150. It's like 296 on it right now. I try to do it every 150 hours on it. Uh, bad boy mower. I still got. I looked in the owner's manual. Got about 100 hours. Well, not 100, but 100 total hours before it's due for servicing on the transaxles on that. So we'll have a video coming out doing it on the 2022. Uh, there should be plenty of videos on the uh, 2020 Hustlers. Um, if y'all want a video on it, let me know. Comment below. I don't care to do one. Um, but this is going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just regular maintenance on the bad boy. We'll catch you on the next video.